but the East 22 from that area is good all the way over to the 55. Might want to make the call. This uh, could make you late. Riverside, well, the typical drive. It was complicated, though. A problem westbound around the 15, but still slow over towards around the 241. And finally, things were improving up. Big heads up. We'll keep following this all morning. Pacific Coast Highway through Malibu closed both directions in between Malibu Canyon and Corbin Canyon. That's north of Las Flores. Big Crash, Canaan, Malibu, Topanga, they're all open in between PCH and the 101. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Jeff Baugh. We've got you covered, America. Go over American style with Semper Solaris, and we'll cover your electric bill. Semper Solaris is your local veteran-owned solar and battery storage contractor. Add Tesla Powerwall and be ready for blackouts. We get the job done with esprit de corps and honor. <laughs> Semper Solaris offers new AC systems with a lifetime warranty and new roofs with a 50-year warranty. We hire vets and give back to the community with our Semper Cares initiative. Go solar American style with Semper Solaris and we'll cover your electric bill. Zero down, zero interest, and zero payments until 2023. Get the federal 26% solar and battery tax credit. $500 off for military, first responders, and health care workers. Call 877-211-5591. That's 877-211-5591. Or visit SemperSolaris.com. With minimum purchase of 10 panels, up to $500 paid toward electric bill. Cannot be combined with any other offers. Some restrictions apply. Call or see website for details. Expires 9-30-2021. CSLB number 978-152. It's Petros, and as you know, Sweet James Accident Attorneys is my choice for someone that's hurt in an accident, and I want to share this story about one of Sweet James' clients. For this client, it was a day like any other. Until it wasn't, he and his girlfriend were going to grab a quick bite to eat on their way. They were suddenly hit by a car traveling at a high speed, caused him to lose control and hit a wall. His injuries were severe, and to make matters worse, the driver who hit him was under the influence. Sweet James Accident Attorneys took on the case and were able to recover $2.7 million. Insurance companies promise to be at your side in these situations, but they rarely are. The litigation team took the insurance company to trial and won. If you're ever hurt in an accident, call Sweet James. They can't guarantee the outcome of any case, but you can be sure you'll have a winning and caring law firm on your side. 800-500-5200 for the free consultation. 800-500-5200 or sweetjames.com. windows over 20 years ago, we picked a company we thought would do a good job. We were so disappointed. So we saw a genuine need for a company with strong character, one that people could have faith in. American Vision Windows was born right then and there. What sets American Vision Windows apart is easily the culture. Their greatest investment is in their employees, and it shows. With a great experience, I couldn't have asked for anything better. I've been in the construction trade for 35 years. The level of quality of products that they use for their prep work was top notch. American Vision Windows continues to revolutionize the home improvement industry one customer at a time while changing the lives of our employees for the better. It's so simple. Happy employees, happy customers. For a limited time, American Vision Windows will pay the tax. Plus, you won't need to make payments for six whole months. Call 888-226-9908. That's 888-226-9908. Or visit AmericanVisionWindows.com. On approved credit, not all applicants will qualify. Some restrictions apply. Call or see website for details. Offer ends 10 31 2021 CSLB number 778 Hey, if you want to sell your house or condo fast and easy, call Seller's Advantage. They'll buy your home as is for cash. With Seller's Advantage, there are no realtor fees or commissions. No escrow fees. No repairs needed. No open houses. No strangers walking through your home. They buy your house or condo for cash. David and Doug from Sellers Advantage just bought a house from one of our KFR listeners. The owner wanted to sell the house. He met with a couple of real estate agents, and then he met with Sellers Advantage. He compared the numbers. Well, he went with Sellers Advantage. Smart KFI listener. He ended up with the same money, same bottom line, and no repairs, no headaches, no open houses, no hassle. He says working with Sellers Advantage was the easiest real estate transaction he has ever completed. If you're considering selling your home, call Sellers Advantage and see how much your home is worth. DRE number 01961658. Call now for your free quote. Call 888-321-AS-IS. Call 888-321-AS-IS. That's 888-321-AS-IS. Or go to SellersAdvantage.com. Not all saxophone is sex music. Billy Joel could be sex music. He's a New York guy, full of girls like Christy Brinkley. He's a real able. I did go backstage to a Billy Joel concert, but he wasn't there. See? Gary and Shannon, weekdays at 10 a.m. He left quickly after the show on KFI. Four.
40 and live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. Good morning. It's the Bill Handel Show. Bill's going to be here in a little bit. So let's talk about how the Office of County Counsel, those are the lawyers for the County of Los Angeles. Um, boy, they changed their minds quite drastically from time to time. Now, the law does change over time, but check this out. In 2014, the county council office told the sheriff's department that they could not ban deputies from getting those tattoos that they all get, the matching tattoos that signify they are a member of, and you choose your own word here, there are many words, a gang, a clique, a social club, a, a professional consortium of law enforcement professionals, that they couldn't ban the deputies from getting those tattoos because it would violate their free speech rights, which seems correct. Tattoos are definitely a protected form of expression, that's well settled. And so if you tried to have a policy that said you could not get these kinds of tattoos, uh, it'd probably be unconstitutional. I don't know about a policy that said you can't get any tattoos. That might, act, that might be a little more constitutional, but saying you can't get these particular tattoos, that's clearly unconstitutional. So in any event, that was the deal. Because they were dealing at the time with this problem of these groups, subgroups within the sheriff's department and the allegations that they were up to a lot of no good. Planting evidence, black, black, blapping on the citizens, black, black, blapping on uh, deputies who were not in their club. So fast forward to now, of course we have a different sheriff, we have Alex Villanueva, one of the only people I think who can claim to be uh, head of a law enforcement agency and talk show host on KFI. Daryl Gates, back in the day, and now uh, Sheriff Alex Villanueva. Still wrestling with the same problem. Hey, you've got these groups, and they do bad things. There's even a lawsuit from a group of sheriff's deputies who are saying, there's this group over here, and they're making our lives miserable as we try to just be regular old sheriff's deputies. So now the county has obtained a new legal opinion from the Office of County Council. And now the Office of County Council says that yes, the sheriff has a lot of power to ban these groups. Well, what about the First Amendment? And remember some years ago that same office said the First Amendment was a big deal and that's why you couldn't ban the tattoos? Well, they say... The county has a compelling interest in restoring public trust in the sheriff's department and also a compelling interest in preventing the kind of stuff that these groups are allegedly doing, violating people's civil rights, engaging in violence, that kind of thing. And therefore, any, uh, any rights that they might have have to bow down to the county's legitimate interests. So, Villanueva is, of course, saying, uh, excuse me, guys, but some years ago, you said the opposite, basically. And so you don't have a lot of credibility. He's also accusing the county council's office of being politically motivated. There's supposed to be a bunch of legal walks. But he's saying what's happened to that office now... The county, the, the commissioners decide what they want, and then this group of lawyers crafts an opinion to give them what they want. Impossible to know the level of truth there might be to that, although it does look like, at least to some extent, they've changed their tune. Now, the current group of lawyers says, here's the thing. You can regulate this because this is pursuant to their work, not pursuant to their behavior as private citizens, which does seem true. If the problem is certain deputies are grouping together and causing trouble, that's definitely inseparable from their work as sheriff's deputies. So they probably do have fewer rights in that regard. 
The problem is this is still a big controversial mess. Villanueva said before that, that these groups don't even exist. Then he said, and all the stuff that happens, you, you hear about a subgroup will go and there's a, they beat up some other people at a bar, other deputies, and he just says, no, it's just, it's just sheriff's deputies getting drunk and getting into fights. That's all it is, which is funny to me because if I was running a law enforcement agency, I don't think that I would be satisfied to say to the world, everybody calm down. All we have here is repeatedly... Sworn law enforcement officers with guns are getting blotto and beating the snot out of each other. So everybody relax. It's not a big deal. But that's the way that he handled it, at least for a while. The state is trying to handle it by passing a law that would require every law enforcement agency in the state to have a policy that prohibits officers from participating in a law enforcement gang they define that as a group of officers who engage in a pattern of rogue behavior on duty that violates the law or fundamental principles of professional policing and to share Villanueva's credit he supports that law he recognizes that that law is um, constitutional it's fair it's reasonable He's saying you can't go so far as to prevent deputies from getting together and giving themselves a cute name and getting matching tattoos and going for Manny Petties together and whatever else they might want to do. So we'll see if this state law uh, gets signed and goes into effect and whether it does anything about the problem. All right, Michael Crozier, please give us a news update. And then, I'm so looking forward to this, i got to tell you, ABC News correspondent Sherry Preston's going to be here, and we are going to get into some delicious, <laughs> filthy, salacious gossip about the royal family because there's a huge rebellion going on against the royal family in Britain because of all of their scandals. And who doesn't love a scandal? I don't. Well, you're a stick in the mud and get the hell out. This is KFI AM 640, live everywhere on the iHeartRadio app. U.S. Customs and Border Protection has set up a new inspection site at LAX to get online orders out faster. The new site is set to begin processing cargo in October. LAX has seen a major increase in e-commerce since the pandemic began. Although e-commerce isn't a new phenomenon, it's, it's, it's nothing new to us. Nothing compares to the unprecedented demand that we now face resulting from the pandemic. CPD's Carlos Martel says cargo is currently taken to over 80 warehouses for inspection. The new facility will be able to process 15,000 shipments every day. Blake Trolley, KFI News. Jury deliberations are set to continue in the murder trial of Robert Durst, who charged with killing a longtime friend in her home in Benedict Canyon in L.A. in 2000. The jury has spent less than six hours discussing the case since it was handed to him on Tuesday. Durst has denied the charge. The family of a 22-year-old woman who's been missing since August while on a cross-country trip with a fiancé has written a letter to his parents begging for information. The letter was read yesterday by Gabby Petito's family attorney, Richard Stafford, in New York. We ask you to put yourselves in our shoes. We haven't been able to sleep or eat, and our lives are falling apart. Stafford says Petito's family wants her fiancé's parents to come forward and tell them at least where to look for her. Petito's family says her fiancé has refused to help with the investigation so far. And a program has been set up in L.A. County to keep pets out of shelters. The Department of Animal Care says the Home to Home program is a free online portal where pet owners can communicate directly with potential adopters to find the best new home for their animals. Officials say pets can still be surrendered to animal care centers, but the experience causes a lot of stress for those animals. Jeff Ball's got a heads up on the 710. Oh boy, you betcha. Thank you, Buckley. Good morning. Yeah, but stick with me here. We got a lot to tell you about. First, Northbound 710 to 105, always a busy spot, and there's now a stall in lanes there, so slowing things down. And then farther north at Washington, this kind of a long plane problem. I'm sure you're familiar with that ramp. It's a hairpin. Overturn rig. Been there for a long time. Shut down completely. Use the blinding bandini before you get there, or just continue up to uh, Cesar Chavez. Now, a little bit of good news here this morning. Going into Orange County, South 405, that Magnolia. Quite a problem there. Has cleared. Still slow. But at least all lanes are open now, but slow coming down from the 22 foot. And the problem of the morning, if you just joined us, listen. PCH going through Malibu. Shut down in both directions, in between Malibu Canyon and Carbon Canyon. Carbon Canyon.